Dio right now and today I'm back with another video. In this video we're going to be doing travel hacks and essentials. I'm so excited for this video because I am going to be traveling soon and I just want to give you some tips and hacks for it. And I'm sorry I haven't been posting on the right days but I promise I will next week. So yeah, let's get into the video. But before we get started, I was inspired by Gianna XOXO. You can subscribe to the channel from the link down below. And I have two announcements for you guys. The first one is I got a new room. If you cannot tell, I did switch rooms and I did redecorate it totally. So if you want to see a room tour, get me to 100 subscribers and I will do a full room tour. And my second announcement is a logo winner. If you guys haven't seen it, it's already up. The logo winner was number one. And I really like this new logo. And it's really, really cool. And these were my just couple announcements just to catch you up. All right, let's get into the video. All right, so the things you will need will be a journal, images of your choice, scissors, tape, and a pen or marker. This is more of a hack, but it can also be a DIY. Okay, so one of my friends gave me this, and I just wanted to say thank you. I decided to use this for the video because it looks travel-like. Alright, the first step is you're going to cut out the images of places you've been or things you've been doing. So for the next step, you're going to take your images and you're going to tape them inside your notebook. Alright, go ahead and write down whatever you want next to your images to explain the photo. Like a hack you should put all your small things in a separate bag because I've learned that the hard way so you should probably take my advice because you don't want to get all your stuff jumbled up in your bag so this is kind of more of an organized way and the first thing I'd put would be jewelry and this is one of my favorite necklaces and I think it matches with all of my dresses and it's really pretty mar marble effect in the middle and it's an owl and I love owls so yeah remember to keep an elastic rubber band because you'll never know if it's gonna get really hot where you are or if it's really cold you probably don't need it but I still would want to put my hair back and you're gonna need a nail clipper. Nail clipper? Is that what they call it? Nail clipper? Yeah. Sorry, I don't know. Yeah, nail clipper. So yeah, you need one of those in case you chip a nail, which sounds really girly. But yeah, that can happen. So that's pretty much all I put. I know it's a little bit, but that's. Oh my Indian really summer. Alright, so for the mini bag, you can really put whatever you want, but I'm just going to show some of the things I'm going to put in it. I'm definitely going to put my scrapbook because I'm excited to use it on the way there. And I'm obviously, like, this is like the most obvious, put candy and snacks because you will starve. I have been on trips so many times that I noticed that if you do not have enough snacks, you will not survive because staring out the window is a little bit hard. Apparently it's work. Um, you're also going to need some lotion, but I think I need it because my hands get really dry most of the time. And I'm just going to need that. Don't forget money, man. You're going to need it because you need to get souvenirs wherever you're going. I need a hairbrush. My hair gets tangled so bad. I don't know why. It just does. And I'm going to need to brush it out. You're going to need your charger because I know most people will need it just in case of emergencies or if you just like using it a lot. And lastly, don't forget your essential bag. You're going to need it. And that's pretty much it for the bag. Alright, so this is a hack and it's super easy and it's just really going to help you when you're traveling. You can save twice as much space by doing this. Alright, I'm going to show you how to do this, although it is really, really easy. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to fold your shirt or pants in half. Then you're going to find the top of the shirt or pants and you're going to roll it. And make sure while you're rolling, it's rolled up tight. Because if it's not rolled up tight enough, then it's going to consume a lot more space. So make it as tight as possible. And... By the end, it should become this cylinder shape, like this. And this actually consumes less space than folding your clothes, like, pancake-wise. So this is a tip and a hack. So I really hope you guys enjoyed that. Alright guys, that was the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to Gianna XOXO. Her links are down below. And my subscribe button is right on the screen. So you can click that button because it's right there. So you can click that button and then you can see a new room tour. So yeah. Alright guys, I'm going to go. Bye.